Do you want to become a douchebag? Yeah! Are you angry with your parents, but you want to be popular? Yeah! Do you dress like you fell through a thrift store? Multiple times! Then get ready to bounce, bounce, bounce. for New Metal! Whoa! New Metal is exactly what happens when you mix runes with monster energy in a blender with skateboard stickers. It's a metal genre that was very popular in the late 90s, early 2000s that feature heavy, bouncy guitar riffs, rap, and DJs for some reason. Rap rock band with the DJ. Yeah! Somebody tell this band what year it is. <laughs> the genre takes a lot of inspiration from funk, reggae, industrial, and hip hop, minus the talent to pull off any of these genres. Nu Metal is also known as Agro Metal, cause their moms wouldn't drive them to the mall. <coughs> the new part of Nu Metal means new or modern, which is ironic because it has aged like milk. Shit, it's stuck. The genre was started by the band Limpy Corn Kid, who lived in Iowa and was named after three band members that were all called Limpy Corn Kid at school. They decided to own their insult and insulted the world with their music. After a negative review from their parents, Limpy Corn Kid got so angry that they split into three different bands. Much like when you cut a worm in half. These bands were Limp Biscuit, Corn, and Kid Rock. Oh no! After their success proved that God was dead, more bands joined their unholy crusade, like Papa Roach. Stained, Disturbed, and P.O.D., which stands for Payable on Death. <laughs> this genre peaked with the band known among the metal community as Anxiety on CD, and by its fans as Linkin Park. But due to oversaturation of the genre being full of wannabe teenagers in their 40s, How do you do, fellow kids? the genre mercifully died in the mid 2000s, leaving room for metalcore to take on the embarrassment. New metal, much like everything else that was popular in the 90s, was bad. And I don't mean the cool kind. Cause nothing is more pathetic than angsty Gen X leftovers singing about their rich parents being assholes or bragging about being harsh and badass without anything to back it up. It's just one of those genres. Now there are some good bands that have emerged from the genre, like System of a Down, Slipknot, Rage Against the Machine, Static X, and Power Man 5000. But that's because they eventually moved away from the new metal label and instead established themselves in more fitting genres, like alternative metal, funk metal, or industrial metal. Also, their music didn't suck! Now, there are a few modern new metal bands out there, and apparently a new variation called New Gent and New Metal Core. I guess no matter how many times you step on a cockroach, they just won't. Die. But you know what? I'm feeling the 30 year cycle coming on like a storm. Retrowave and 80s flashy aesthetic has had its day in the sun. Cause it's time to bring back edgy music videos with highly saturated filters, bouncy guitar riffs, and the choir of It's Not a Face Mom, and I shall be your guide to the revival. My mom took my Let's start with how to look like nu metal, cause this is an ugly genre for the MTV generation. Okay, imagine a douchebag. You got it? Now dress like that! The most common apparel are cargo pants, which comes in handy when you have to carry around all your disappointments. Look at all these pockets! I can put all my Pokemans in here! Don't forget backwards baseball caps being bad at their jobs, edgy t-shirts, chains, dreads, tracksuits, chin beards, and piercings. You want to look like a hip-hop artist who desperately wants to advertise to the metal crowd, but can't play a single guitar note. So you rely on people who can play, so they can carry you to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You can also have short hair, since these slackers can't get paid in shampoo, which makes wearing makeup the least optimal choice. But oh well. Despite not affording shampoo, it's very vital to color your hair like a troll doll bootleg. When it comes to stage presence, make sure the audience participates more than you. That way they can't tell you that you can't play live. 
Worst case scenario, just tell them to bounce. Your fans will consist of white teenagers, and everyone knows white people can't dance or jump, only bounce. Isn't that right, House of Pain? Ah, what a jump scare! Anyway, for songwriting, there are two types of style. The bouncy, jumpy style, and the I'm sad style. The lyrics are exactly the same on both. For the bouncy style, just a simple beat and write some syncopated guitar riffs that makes people jump for joy and stomp around the room when they're angry. Yeah, I'm so tough, cool, and shit. Fuck everything! Fuck everyone! Yeah? I'll pick up the groceries when you're cool, Mom! Oh shit, I need that. The arm sad style is when you play slower to get a more angsty type of feel. Songs like In The End by Linkin Park and every song by Deftones is a good example. So you want to play slow with some long chords, slow drums, and a vocal style that says... Guitar! That's gonna be the meat and potatoes of your track. Or in this case, Mountain Dew and Doritos. You're gonna want a really heavy guitar tone and play nothing but drop tune power chords. The easiest way is to get a 7th string for that extra low end heavy sound. But my bassist hasn't gotten his allowance yet, so let's stick with 6th strings for now. Use the minor scale or Locrian scale. Then write random nasty sounding chord progression. Wait, scales? They'll just hold you back! So just play random notes that sound angsty and sad, then let the fans bounce their caps off. To get that bouncy riffage, all you need is basic polyrhythms and syncopations. That means a lot of offbeat stuff. Then feel free to throw in some bends and harmonics. like pitch harmonics but more annoying and without talent. Maybe add a wah-wah effect so you can pretend to be a DJ. You want it to sound like a really sad porno without the porno part. Additionally, you can try to make your clean tone sound watery and filtered during the I'm sad songs. play those during the verses when your vocalist rapper is spitting straight facts about all the sex he's not having at the moment. Bass. Follow the guitarist. Optionally, learn to slap, also known as burber ding, burber ding. But if you need your fingers to pwn some noobs and quake for the evening, you can always take the easy way. The easy way is quitting the band and letting the DJ take over. Drums. Just play a simple drum beat, but occasionally add some complex rhythms to the kick and fills. For the most part, you just need basic snare and complex kicks. You want to sound so generic that people mistook you for an ACDC sample. Oh. DJ! Your job is to press play on Spotify to mask the fact that your band can't play live. Are you tired of commercial breaks ruining your experience? Try Spotify Premium, Premium just... you dick. Never mind. <laughs> Sampling. Sample a random 80s action movie, drum loop, or other songs. Your record company will deal with the lawsuit while you bathe in gold and video games. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is fucked. Vocals. Brace yourself, because you need to learn how to sing and rap. Now that's challenging. You could learn how to growl, but that death metal vocal stuff is for babies. You can't even hear them say bounce. How are you supposed to live without instructions? When rapping, keep it as simple as possible so the average metalhead can sort of understand. Keep the raps on the verse while the chorus and bridge handle the screamy clean vocals. If it's too hard for you, just be angry and pretend to rap like Limp Bizkit. Speaking of pretending, here's a pretentious fun fact! Fred Durst, the king of Xbox Live Chat and his mom's basement, used to take old metal records and record rap over them. He also directed a movie called The Fanatic, where a dad plays a little Limp Biscuit and the son thinks it's cool. You like a little Limp Biscuit? Sure. You like a little Biscuit? Yeah. Yeah? It's loud. Freddy Dursley is a humble man. Bad name! Ugh! <gasps>
corn. Corn. No, that's taken. Oh, fuck. Biscuits. Soggy biscuits. This is hard. Hmm. Lyrics. Also known as anger management in this genre. Okay, the top thing you should be rapping and bapping and yippity yoppiting should be about how angry you are and how it makes you feel. You know, angry. Don't hide them with complex metaphors. Be as straightforward as possible. You could also write about parties and having a good time, but that's fun. And new metal is the opposite of fun. Either way, just find a pissed off vocalist. I don't understand what you're saying, but you're fucking perfect. Now that a studio wants to exploit you for fame while the side guys was strong, 25 years ago, <laughs> it's time to hit the studio and release your anger. We're gonna make a bouncy, jumpy style song because I'm in a really bad mood at the moment. Da, Pikachu. Da. Okay, which one of you nutless ball sacks told my mom I was swearing? You mean like now? Oh, fuck! Set your project BPM to somewhere between 90 and 120. That's where you get the most fun and bouncy rhythm. If it's higher or lower, you're not making pop music! Load up your drum minion! Anything with loud kick and snare. Now let's write a new metal drum beat. Choose a hi-hat or one cymbal. Make the notes 1 8 make every in-between a little weak. Then put the snare on beat 2 and 4 like you do with every rock and metal genre. Then put a kick wherever it doesn't matter as long as there's at least one kick on the first and third beat. Done! Now just do that a few more times, add some pauses, some build-ups, and you're done! Now for the bass... I wish Pokemons had a gun, so I could shoot Pikachu. Wie ist dir das? For the guitar, give it a really overdriven, heavy, and maybe slightly muddy tone. Now write a guitar riff that's bouncy and scatters and harmonics around. Now just for fun, I made one of my pre-courses obnoxiously long. This will only make sense if you play it live, while the studio version will piss you off. That's, that's perfect! Perfect for new metal! Now to put your DJ skills to the test! By that I mean just download a few scratched samples and load them in a sampler and hammer away! Or you can hire someone who actually has the skill to make an original scratch track for you and just do that. Did you know you can put effort into your music? I wish I did. <laughs> now for the vocals. Talent? Anger is talent! You're gonna go far, kid. I'm 30. Too far. Then just throw in some basic synths and samples, just so your DJ has something to press play for. And now for mixing! Just add some reverb, EQ, maybe some delay, who cares? Just remember easy mix for easy mastering because you're an artist and artists don't mix cause mixing is for nerds! I have music to make and art to shove down people's ear holes. <laughs> and now you have one new metal song. Now go out there, my child. Film a music video with you and your band dicking around the city using a fish style lens while showing off your skills. Also known as a skateboard. But my mom hasn't given me my allowance yet and the skate park is closed. Uh, then do that thing where you just green screen yourself in front of a dated action movie. That'll get the crowd bouncing.
not guaranteed Anything illegal gives me the glee So come on motherfucker, don't fuck with me Congratulations! You ruined the music scene and your edgy teenage fans are causing a riot at the festival! The police and your parents will be monitoring you very closely. It has been one of those days. The end! 